today I'm going to do a video on this Hoover Aquamaster S4470 which has been fully refurbished now. Um, it's got a new floor tool, I had these two tools and this one already and these are the ones off my Hoover Constellation. I did buy some bags for it, they're not the genuine ones but they're very expensive and hard to get hold of so they're just going to have to do with the um, non original ones. But anyway, here it is. Um, it's cleaned up very nice, it's got a few marks on it, it's a little bit dirty as I have used it. So here's the ones, let's just move these out of the way and the floor bits etc. This is a floor tool, it's got an um, adapter in there, um, it's just a, a normal floor tool, I thought there's going to be one with the pit permanently fitted to it, but it's got the adapter which I'm not too fussed about. So here's the main machine, um, all nice and clean. Tag thing's still broken, but I can do something about that, can't I? Um, it's all been stripped down, cleaned, polished, reassembled, and works good well. Um, unfortunately, it still has a broken clip on it, which it holds up fine. But it's, yeah. Um, here's the ball float thing. Um, ball just rises up into there. That all's working. I haven't actually used it for wet vacuuming yet, to be fair, but um, I probably will do and make a video on it. So here's the filter. Um, we just got that. Well, that's dusty. I think I hoovered that off, didn't I? That's probably the bags. Yeah, the bag looks like it's leaking because it's just a single layer thingy, and I did hoover up some quite fine dust. So here's the bag in there. So it has leaked onto the filter. Which I did wash, but I'm going to wash in the washing machine when I can be bothered. So, I like these because you can put the top round them either way. Um, I do believe they did have an electronic model with the dial on the top to turn the speed down. I originally was going to get one of those from a local second hand shop, but they, they wouldn't let me have it for some reason. Because they wanted to use it for the shop or whatever. But um, one week they'll say, oh yeah, you can have it next week. Oh no, we're keeping it. So, anyway. Right, here's the hand grip, uh, the turn dial thing. That goes in there, slots in nice and securely. I didn't think these would fit because I did have a Hoover Vogue hose that Jackson gave me with his Vogue, his old Vogue, and that didn't fit. But you know, there you go. There's the ones all built up. It runs fairly nice. Um, it does have a little squeal to it when you turn it off. Go back up in the tripod, but um, it works fine apart from that. So, you know, right, let's just move that over there. And, you know, so let's turn it on. It's very powerful. So you know, that worked pretty well. Um, I believe I dated it. What was it? Uh, S4470 302. Um, I believe it's February 1993. Hang on. Let me just check this. Um, so it was 302, yeah. February 1990. Um, what was it? Hang on, I'm getting my up here. Yeah, February 1993 this was made. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, there's a few more videos coming up. Um, 
I have been delayed on making videos, that's why this is up late and uh, last last week's Sunday uh, one was up late. I've been very, very busy. Um, lots of machines to refurb. Nothing to of interest, obviously. Um, it's just normal Henry's stuff you probably would have seen. Boring stuff. Um, just, yeah, which I've uploaded on to my channel. 3,000 times already, so there you go. There we go. Uh, there was the Aquamaster, put all the tools next to it, and yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and bye for now.